Hi, Dr. Theo Naomi here with Charlotte Plastic Surgery. Today I'm going to talk about breast implants, which is something that we use commonly in surgery. So breast implants are medical devices that can be used both in cosmetic surgery and reconstructive surgery. In reconstructive surgery, we oftentimes use breast implants to restore patients who are undergoing breast cancer therapy. For cosmetic surgery, breast implants can be used to enhance or enlarge and shape the breast. Although there are many different types of implants that are commercially available on the market, they still break down into two major categories. One category are saline implants. Saline implants have an outer silicone shell, but the inside is actually filled with sterile water. Silicone gel implants have the same or similar outer shell. However, the inside of the silicone gel implant is actually filled with silicone. The type of silicone and the viscosity or the firmness of the silicone is one of the things that differentiates different types of implants. Because sometimes there's a concern over rupture, some implants have a gel that's firm enough that if you were to cut that implant in half, the gel would never leak. One of the questions that tends to come up during consultation is whether somebody should consider using saline or silicone. You know, as a plastic surgeon, this is a matter of patient preference. Okay? Some people believe that the silicone tends to move more like a natural breast. Some people tend to feel as though the saline implant feels more like water to balloon. However, there are pros and cons. For example, if you have a saline implant and that implant ruptures, you'll know right away. If you have a silicone implant and that implant ruptures, it may take some time before you determine that. There are very good screening options that help you determine whether an implant uh, is ruptured or not. So that may be some of the reasons somebody may prefer a saline over a silicone. In general though, it's important to feel the implant during a consultation and then just get a feel and assessment of which one is most appealing to you. So you or anyone that you may know may be interested in discovering or discussing breast augmentation surgery or using one of these medical devices, it's very important to schedule a consultation with a board certified plastic surgeon who is experienced in working with different types of implants.